The Rutgers Stem Cell Research Center has progress to report in both basic scientific work and the groundwork for testing potential therapies. In the first of a two-part report on stem cell research in New Jersey, science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reviews some recent advances. Located and closely associated with the Keck Center for Collaborative Neuroscience, the Rutgers Stem Cell Research Center is by no means the only lab in New Jersey investigating the biology and healing potential of stem cells. But it is in many respects central to the state's bid to play a major role in a promising growing field. The lab recently produced New Jersey's first three lines of human embryonic stem cells with the collaboration of an in vitro fertilization company and a $3 million grant from the state. They have been made under um, conditions that these cells could one day be implanted into people as opposed to some of the old NIH lines which are all contaminated with, you, with mouse genes. Carefully grown and genetically characterized cell lines are a key resource for a widening research community. Center director Martin Grumet explains. We have been um, growing human embryonic stem cells and collaborating with about five different groups on this campus, both Rutgers and UMDNJ, and supplying different labs with cells to do experiments. Grumet also reports advances related to producing and stabilizing cell lines that are not derived from embryos, but appear to have a similar potential, both to reproduce themselves and to differentiate into nearly any other type of cell. He says a single gene may prove to be an effective on-off switch for controlling cell activity. We've attracted uh, pharmaceutical companies who are collaborating with us on developing cells that we can use as assays for human disease, like Alzheimer's. Other efforts are preparing the way to test the safety and effectiveness of potential therapies. Dr. Wai Zhang has spent a sabbatical uh, year in China, and he has set up a clinical trial network. And now that that is moving there, I understand that Dr. Young's trying to get the same thing started here in the U.S. Our next report will look into the effects of policy and funding issues on stem cell research. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Piscataway.